not enough to wait. We must get down to work to meet our responsibilities today, tomorrow, and every day. A community that is seen as not part of the kind of main lifeblood of the city can become integrated in the city and can contribute to the life of the city. The life cycle of this community is not about a token gesture, but one of dignity in the community. What are we willing to give up for a sustainable future? And I think answering that question requires a major reshift of the way that we think about those designs. There is so much energy in the public sector, in the private sector, all around the world, that I'm positive that we will tackle the tragic issue of our time like our fathers and mothers did. We are not doing enough on what is another of the big columns of the work of the United Nations. We're not doing enough on the leaving no one behind. Thanks for sharing with us your experiences. Sport puts you in the position where you can't hide your body and you have to accept it. That's because sport doesn't care who you are. Sport cares about people, about having fun and about creating a community. What we're looking at is a quite profound shifting of power in the societies in which we live. And we don't even have basic safety standards, the basic guardrails that you would want. Dignity, respect, equality, opportunity. We demand these things in this society, in a world where if we don't shape it, it will shape us.